Hello, welcome back again. Um, we're continuing on our series of Side Sword and Dagger. Um, last week we looked quite a lot at how to parry with the dagger and reply with the point attack. Um, but what I really want to do is, because I know there was a lot of material in that, is kind of cover it again, but look at some of the options we've got for cutting rather than stabbing, given that Side Sword is very much a <coughs> cut and thrust weapon rather than rapier or something, which is much more point orientated. So, I'm going to get Michael to, to run through the attacks and we'll look at how to parry them again. So, um, if I was going to start in something like a Lunga, so the weapons are either side of my front knee here, um, and this means that the obvious attack that Michael would like to make is a cutting into my neck, would be that Manjvita Squad Brato there. So obviously I want to stop that happening, so as that comes in, if we looked at before, I'm going to deliver a reverse of Squall and Brato into the weapon. Now, this is where we talked about trying to get the weapons to move together. Previously, when we looked at the point attack, it came through here. What I want to do this time is actually, whilst this one's going to deliver a reverso Squall and Brato, this one's going to deliver a Madriti Squall and Brato at the same time. So the attack looks something like this. Oh. So I'm making an attack to the arm as I'm defending this. Um, I'm just going to switch around just in terms of visibility of this attack. So from here, once I've got the hang of that, I will probably put on a slight pass out to the side to get a better angle on that attack coming through here. But equally, I could take that as a cut into the neck. If I have the distance, I can deliver that cut along here. The idea is the weapons, yeah, move together rather than kind of like this one going this way and this one going this way. Because what's going to happen is that's when you tangle them up. So. They both go in that direction. Likewise, if I'm important to Ferro, but we get the right thing for this. And the attack comes in. Yeah, from here we looked at my block coming across here. And previously we went to keep the hands together coming in with the stone carter underneath. Now the problem I have here is I can't do this and keep the hands together. It's a really awkward angle and I'm getting nothing actually there. So what I need to do is throw the hands together. So this hand actually end up on the outside. Sorry, I'm going to switch. I could have. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that, just for which angle. So from here, as that comes in, I'm going to throw this one out to the side. Now this, because I've had to move in the same way, it's now out of play, as it were. I'm pointing over at you rather than anywhere near Michael. So what I'm going to do is bring that round. So after that happens, that's going to come over and deliver a strike over the top of my hand and come there. So again, there's no chance of them clashing because they both move together. But after I've done that, this one's going to continue over the top. So the attack comes in, and I can get that cut there. If I put a pass onto it, I can get in and deliver that cut to the neck. Now on the low line, we have a similar kind of thing. So if, um, uh, I'll go forward to the uh, no, kind of longer again. So, Attack comes in on the low line, this time coming up for the hit. I'm going to deliver that Reverso Rodolfio block. This hand has to move with it, so it's going to come up. And you can aim for the hand, but I tend to just aim this one a little bit further from the stomach. But again, the hands move together. So I deliver the cut with the sword and the dagger moving at the same time. Now, if we go back to Porto de Ferra, and this time it's coming in against the low line, I bring the dagger across, and again, we looked at a stab over the top. Now, as you can see, I'm always banging these together because I didn't move the sword. So as they both move, this one again gets thrown wide, and then over the top to cut that incoming off. Or if I step forward, I can reach the neck. But again, I've got that downwards here, and the cut over the top. So hopefully it's just an idea of moving them together um, when we're doing the cuts especially. Now, when we looked at last week the Fendente coming in, and we looked at doing the cross block, and with everything else we talked about stabbing, but the cross block we talked about pushing off and delivering a cut. So it seems only fair that in the week where I'm talking about the cutting, I show you how to do a point attack from the double parry. So the Fendente comes in, and I get my block here. So as I said, we looked at throwing it off, the problem I have is if I wanted to do a point attack with the sword at this point, 
the dagger's in the way, and that's why we looked at going through. However, if I bring the dagger up underneath, so now the dagger is, sorry, the, sorry, the sword underneath, so the sword is now closer rather than the dagger, I've blocked myself from coming around to do the cut, but what I have allowed myself to do is to disengage underneath into an inbred carpet. So, if the sword is higher, by that I mean further away from his hand, I can deliver a cut. If, I've done it wrong there, if uh, the dagger is further away, then I have the opportunity to disengage and do an inward cut whilst well, still keeping control of the, uh, his sword with my dagger. So, that's really just a look at the ultimate attacks you can do from each of the positions, and um, just to really start to get you comfortable with how the weapon is used. This is very much the basics of it, and you can see it builds very much on a single side sword, we're just adding the dagger in the offhand. We've looked at how to stand with it in our guards, and we've looked at how to defend with it, um, both simultaneously thrusting and simultaneously cutting. Um, so next week we're going to start looking at all of the fun and interesting things we can do beyond the basics. Um, so definitely drop back in for that. Until then, have a great week.